Hey, Scandalous Bob again. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is Radiation, Team Deathmatch. Um, I don't normally like Radiation. Usually there's a whole lot going on. There's a lot of open area to uh, run out in the middle and get hit. Run underneath. It always seems like there's somebody waiting for you. But in this uh, match, it just seemed like uh, nobody was really aggressing. So I take up a defensive stance kind of in one corner of the map. I run uh, Ghost Pro, Slide of Hand, and uh, Marathon, or no, I run uh, Ninja. Uh, with the Ninja Pro, you can kind of hear your uh, your enemy's footsteps a little bit louder. Um, so I'm going to run up here underneath the, uh, the tower, and I try to uh, wait for the guys to come out of this, uh, this entrance here. And normally, um, when you spawn from this side of the map, uh, somebody runs out this side of the building so I didn't see anybody so I'm gonna set up a claymore here and I'm gonna keep trying to watch the uh, the stairwell uh, try to watch the uh, the front side of the map there over by the silos um, so I kind of hang out here I don't see anybody for a little while so it gets me a little nervous not sure if I should try to move um, but I know somebody's gonna come on this side so I try to get up here get a high uh, advantage point I see uh, Somebody gets shot there, so I know somebody's around. Um, and then all of a sudden, I hear some footsteps uh, coming behind me. Look over the railing. Sure enough, there goes a guy. Jump in behind him. Uh, pop him. Um, I think uh, total in this match, I get uh, two attack helicopters. Uh, I get two napalm strikes. I forget to use the second helicopter uh, right before the match ends. I saw that guy shooting at me. I knew he'd be reloading. Uh, but his buddy comes around the corner and pops me. Uh, but that's where I try to stick was on that side. I love the FAMAS. You put a red dot uh, side on it. Uh, really accurate. Uh, just shot at a guy there. Wasn't sure where he went. Um, heard him at the last second there and he popped me. Um, so <clears throat> I think I make my way back around. Throw a grenade up in there. Uh, I see a hit marker. Uh, I know I didn't kill him. So my next weapon is the... Uh, gas um, so I like to throw the gas up in there you get a couple of hit markers and um, if they sit there long enough you uh, get a kill which I think I do um, this map here if you run domination uh, you got one point underneath where we just ran through uh, which is a hard spot to uh, capture once you capture it um, it's a lot easier to defend a little harder to aggress and take if you can get uh, you know two three people to defend um, capture the flag uh, the underneath is a great spot to run through to kind of mask you from above if you can keep those doors closed and there you go I'm gonna get a kill here with the no gas um, if you play uh, demolition one of the bomb sites is underneath and uh, makes for some uh, some tough matches to go underneath and uh, get your uh, get your bombs planted. And if you uh, get them planted uh, to defend them, if you're trying to do a defuse, I suggest using the Nova Gas with attack mass. Uh, that way you can kind of throw it in there and get yourself behind and uh, do a little defuse. Uh, meanwhile, the gas kind of keeps them from. Uh, running up and shooting you while you're planting. Uh, white phosphorus or willy pea is another good thing to uh, kind of have out there. That way you can mask yourself a little bit. Start going a little negative here. I get a little nervous. I'm trying to get to the back side of that map, kind of defend my position. Um, I think I make it over there and I sit there and I do pretty well. I'm trying to keep an eye on the uh, radar up there. If I see some red dots. Here I see these two guys running around the building, so I know I'm going to get in behind them. Usually I would have uh, tried to switch magazines, but I knew there'd be another guy there, so I, I tried to hold off a little bit. Uh, run low on ammo, I grabbed the uh, infield, which is a great weapon. Um, I found that if you throw a silencer on, it kind of steadies it a little bit. Good rate of fire. It's not as accurate at long distance as the FAMAS, but it works out pretty well. Uh, anyways, um, going to try to get some more videos for you. It takes me a little while to process each one and uh, throw a little commentary in there. Hopefully I'm not boring you guys. I'm going to try to get a uh, another mic line uh, so that way I can be recording the commentary as we're playing. And I think when I do, I'm going to have to bleep out a lot of things. Um, I'm one of these guys that uh, 
I do make a lot of noise when I'm playing, screaming, hollering. Uh, but I think all of us do that anyways. So anyways, uh, hope you enjoy this video. Like I said, this is not a typical radiation match. Usually the uh, the guys are running the outside of the map. It just depends on your lobby leaderboard. Spot a guy out there on the top. Got him before the grenade got me. Um, guys are running the outside of the map. You got to watch that nuke room that's on the other side. Usually guys will sit up there on the second floor. and it, It's hard to get them out. Uh, so you just got to move around. I think I had two other guys that were uh, playing with me. And uh, we were trying to control one side of the map. See what I'm saying? The guys come out that side of the building and think they're safe. And I just happened to be hiding in the corner. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Throw me up some uh, comments. Let me know uh, anything you'd like to see. Like I said, I'm not very good at uh, search and destroy. I prefer to play domination, uh, team deathmatch. I play some hardcore. I'm not a big fan of it because I, I usually spend a lot of time sitting around watching other people. Uh, due to the fact that I'm a rusher by nature, I usually run in and some guy's waiting on me and pops me and then uh, by the time I make it back, he's moved a little bit and he's got me. That's a good tactic. If you want to camp in an area, um, I suggest having a little area where if you pop somebody coming through a door, move a little bit to the other side as they run through to come and get you. Um, you know, you'll be in a different little spot and you'll be able to get them. Uh, this guy here wasn't listening to the footsteps and this guy here thought he was safe. I think that's the uh, last Cobra I get before the end of the game and I forget to pop it. I was hoping to get like one or two more kills and then throw it out. Give me a little cover. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I was hoping to get the last kill there. 21-7. Uh, so not a bad match. Uh, anyways, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you again.